Hey everybody, I'm Stefan and welcome to our presentation on the Kubernetes Inventory Taker, or KIT for short. This project was done in collaboration with our two POs, Jan and Philip, our Scrum Master Anna, and us developers. KIT was supposed to be a lightweight monitoring solution that enables DevOps teams to quickly become aware of issues in their Kubernetes cluster and help diagnose them by giving a comprehensive overview, enabling fast exploration and providing helpful hints. We did this by splitting our application into a proxy that is responsible for accessing the Kubernetes API and a web server that we call the Explorer because it provides the UI to explore the state of the cluster. The proxy is written in Go as Kubernetes is written in Go and so we had access to the native client APIs. This enabled us to build an event-based service that updates CDB as soon as anything changes in the cluster. Our Explorer is written using Next.js and TypeScript. It displays the data from the database and provides the user an interactive website to understand what's going on. Let's have a look at that. We start in the pods view where we will filter for my pod and then start it. As soon as the pod is created, it'll automatically show up in the list. We see that it changes the status to running. We see that it has spawned two containers, one of which is crashing. Now in the containers details page, we see the name, image, and status of the container. In the container overview, we see that both containers have been terminated as I deleted the pod in the background. Now I will show you how we can observe failure with the Kubernetes inventory taker. We start the container called memory hog that will crash on startup. So we see how it cycles from waiting into terminated and back into waiting. Observing these changes in status is helpful for teams to understand how their containers are performing. Thank you for listening to our short video on the Kubernetes Inventory Taker.